What is up, YouTube? A poor man's guide to Yu-Gi-Oh! here, coming at you with a um, deck profile updated of um, Cosmo. So, I did, before Premium Gold came out, I did do a Cosmo um, deck build, and it was alright. Except, you know, I didn't have any of the big guys, didn't have any Dark Destroyers. So, now that they got reprinted, the deck is a heck of a lot cheaper. I remember when it used to be, what, 150 bucks a pop, so that's very helpful. But... You know, I was looking for a deck to do. I thought, you know, I'd do an update in one of this. So, yeah, here we go. Three Dark Destroyer. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's the big boss monster. When it's better summon, you can destroy a monster on the field. Um, and what Cosmos do is I like to switch out, which is kind of a really fun mechanic to play. Um, it's kind of like it's like um, Ultimate Athletes or something like that. Kind of like you send you's also. Um, but these are about 10 bucks, so we're about at 30 to start off. Uh, three forerunner. It's a big. It's another big boss monster. Uh, you gain a thousand life points during your standby phases, which is really helpful, and it has the whole effect of switching out. And those are just rares. You can get the premium gold. It's really cheap, like a dollar a piece. Uh, one dog fighter. It's super rare, or it's probably premium gold too. Basically, you get a token when it's federal summoned. A level six token. So that's always nice, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's kind of helpful. Um, three slip rider for get rid of getting rid of annoying uh, back row. It's always a, like an extra MST or something like that. Um, so that's always just a really pretty solid card. It's like you can run six MSTs in this deck pretty much. Um, two wicked witch. I don't run any good witch. I do like wicked witch because it can um, not be destroyed by paying a thousand life points for that turn, which is really helpful. Um, just for like defensive strategies and all that stuff. So the majority of these cards right here are like a dollar a piece. Uh, Farm Girl is about three, um, just because it got reprinted, which is great. So we're about at forty-five, forty dollars right now. Um, Straw Man is a pretty solid card. It's um, you pay five hundred life points and you can target a banished um, Cosmo dude and spell summon him, which is really helpful. Um, and he's not that expensive either. He's like literally a dollar in premium gold. Uh, I didn't know he got reprinted, but I guess he did. Um, I just pulled that up recently. Um, so yeah, we're about forty-five, and then Max C, Max C got reprinted. Uh, I'm really kind of glad it did because the super rare was going up way too high for a promo. Um, it's like six dollars a card, probably. Let's say five. So now we're about at about sixty. So basically, whenever a monster special summons, you get to draw a card. It's really good against Burning Abyss because it that like automatically guarantees you get to draw at least two or three cards. If they're like not gonna go crazy, if they go crazy, which is kind of a bad idea, you get like ten cards here. It's crazy. Um, three of the Turbo Tin Can guy. This card is overpowered. You bring it back. Recall the Haunted. Uh, you're just reusing it over and over again. Um, this card is an ultra rare. It's like eleven dollars a piece. So this puts us at about ninety. We're getting very close to the limit here. Um, next we have one effect veiler just for I just kind of threw it in there You can change this to whatever you want. It can be your one upstart. Uh, it can be anything really um, You know, this is just one extra placeholder the effect veiler um, You know just good against like monarchs or Veiling their tour guide or whatever uh, one dark hole because it's better than Ragaki because it destroys your monsters And when your monsters center the grave you can like banish them and bring out even more so it's like you can't really kill these guys that easily um Unless you're uh, siding against them. So 3 MST, I don't really like Twin Twister that much. It's also more expensive. Um, MST is a staple, obviously. It's like a quarter. Um, 2 Emergency Teleport got reprinted about 250 a piece. So it brings it up to about 95. Uh, 3 Cosmo Town. Oh, this is also, sorry. The Emergency Teleport is used to bring out the uh, Straw Man or the uh, Harm Girl. Or even the uh, Tin Can. Um, so three of the Cosmo Town, this card is insanely broken. Basically, you pick um, you pick Cosmo monsters or Cosmo ships or whatever the heck, and you shuffle them back in your deck, and then you draw cards equal to the number you shuffled back, which is cool. And then it does stuff with a banishing effect, and if it's destroyed, you get another one. It's like, ugh, it never goes away. Um, next, we have three Storming Mirror Force. It's probably the best of the Mirror Forces out right now. It got reprinted. It's like a dollar. It's like great for budget players like me. So... You know, we're getting close to about, about 90, 95, 97. And one bottomless, like a dollar card. Three Call of the Haunted, um, just to bring it back, bring back your big ships and all that other fun stuff. And they get their effects because they get to our summon, so it's not like their effects are negative, which is very helpful. And they're in attack position, so it's like, ready to go. 
um, one chaos trap hole for playing the mirror and a bunch of other fun stuff. Um, it's it's pretty solid. I really like this. I like it at one. If it was, if it wasn't a counter trap, it'd be worth a lot more because then you could use Rafflesia with it. But not the case here. Um, then one warning. So we got exactly to a hundred dollars. And that's why there's no extra egg for the time being. I will probably, I might start doing stuff where it's like under 150 if you want to do the side and the extra together. Um, because basically what you want to do is just do a bunch of, bunch of rank threes, rank fours, rank fives. You can make infinity with this because it's a light machine. Um, I think you can overlay tokens. I don't really know. You can't. Never mind. Forget what I said. Um, and then. Uh, Forerunner, you can make uh, like a big guy, and you can make a Tachyon or Felgrand with these guys. So.